welcome all of our parishioners of St. John's and our friends of St. John's as we gather once again to bless our food prepared for our Easter celebration. I would encourage as family members to gather on your first Easter meal to share together the gifts that God gives us through the table and the food that we share. And whether it be mom or dad or both, or someone who's grandpa, grandma, is head of the family, that you invoke the prayer and the blessing upon the food you are to share. And especially in Thanksgiving for the gifts that God gives us as family, for those who are sick as we remember them during the coronavirus, and for those who care for all the sick and the suffering, that the Lord will be with all of us as we continue to look to him that through his passion, death, and resurrection, we may always have the newness of life that God offers us. And so we gather in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. For our sake, Christ became obedient, accepting even death, death on a cross. Therefore, God raised him on high and gave him the name above all other names. Blessed be God forever. My brothers and sisters, let's listen to the words of the book of Deuteronomy. Observe the month of Abib by keeping the Passover of the Lord your God, since it was in the month of Abib that you brought you by night out of Egypt. You shall offer the Passover sacrifice from your flock or your herd to the Lord your God in the place which he chooses as the dwelling place of his name. You shall not eat leavened bread with it. For seven days you shall eat it only unleavened bread, the bread of affliction, that you may remember as long as you live the day of your departure from the land of Egypt. For in fright and haste you left the land of Egypt. Nothing leavened may be found in all your territory for seven days, and none of the meat which you sacrificed on the evening of that first day shall be kept overnight for the next day. You may not sacrifice the Passover in any of the communities which the Lord your God gives you, only at the place which he chooses as the dwelling place of his name. And in the evening at sunset, on the anniversary of your departure from Egypt, you will sacrifice the Passover. You shall cook and eat it at the place the Lord your God chooses. Then in the morning you may return to your tents. For six days you shall eat unleavened bread, and on the seventh there shall be a solemn meeting in the honor of the Lord your God. On that day you shall do no sort of any work. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Throughout Lent, we have been preparing for the resurrection of the Lord by our prayer, almsgiving, and fasting. Our Lenten fasting is a reminder of our hunger and thirst for holiness, which is satisfied only by Christ, who feeds and nourishes us by his word and sacraments. When we gather at our first Easter meal, may this food be a sign for us of that heavenly banquet to which the Lord calls us one day all to enter. We now turn to him with our prayer. God of glory, the eyes of all turn to you as we celebrate Christ's victory over sin and death. Bless us and this food at our first Easter meal. May we who gather at the table of the Lord one day together as a family and as a parish community continue to celebrate now at home the joys of the resurrection and one day be admitted finally to the heavenly banquet. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now as we bless our various foods, we ask that the Lord continue to give our hearts thankfulness and gratefulness for all the gifts that we have shared for the gifts of the earth. And of course, to whoever did all the great cooking at home, whoever went to the store to get our chocolate rabbits or our special candies that we like or our beautiful sweets. And so we ask the Lord's blessing upon us and upon the foods we will share. God is the giver of all good things and of every blessing. 
He lovingly provides us with what we need, that the Lord, in his goodness, may bless us now in all of our days. We turn to him with our prayer. O Lord, bless this food which you created, and make it a means of a nourishment and festivity as we celebrate the Easter victory of your Son. May each of us who partake of these Paschal foods be renewed in body and spirit through Jesus, our Paschal Lamb, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray, Lord, for those who hunger, that we may share with them what has been given to us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who work with the soil, that they may have fruitful season, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for the many gifts that God gives us, that we might use them to build up one another as we continue to journey in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our Easter may find us cleansed of sin and ready to live anew our Christian faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the bread we share be a reminder of the bread of life which we share in the Eucharist, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that we may be ready to give from our hearts and our tables to all those who hunger and thirst. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, and that one day we might all share around the table of the Lord forever in the joys of heaven, in our victory of the cross. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now the blessing of our Paschal lamb and other meats Father of all goodness, we bless you for this lamb and all of our meats. You command our ancestors in faith to prepare a lamb of Passover night. May these meats prepared for our celebration in honor of the Passover of your Son from death to life remind us of the true Paschal lamb by whose blood we are saved. May we enjoy these foods and obtain your blessing through the power of the cross and the resurrection of your Son. We ask this through him our risen Lord. Amen. For the blessing of our breads. Almighty Father, may your blessing be upon this bread and all who partake of it, as with the many grains of wheat which have combined to form this loaf, may we be made one through the sharing of this food. We ask this through Christ, the risen Lord, the bread of life, the bread from heaven, who fulfills every hunger forever and ever. Amen. And for the blessing of our eggs, which are a sign of the new life that God gives us. In them, Lord, we see a sign of your sons rising to new life from the tomb. May we share them in thankful celebration of the resurrection of your son, Jesus, who lives with you forever and ever. Amen. And a blessing of our, our children's Easter baskets, our chocolates, and of course, our beautiful sweets. Let us pray. Loving Father, in joy, we thank you for the Easter baskets which our children ask your blessing upon. May they enjoy these Easter eggs and candy and all that these baskets contain as they celebrate the resurrection of Jesus, your son and our brother. May we always appreciate the gifts we receive and the joy you give us in sharing them through Christ, our risen Lord, Amen. Just want to remind us of one thing, boys and girls, that you have your sweets, of course, your eggs and your chocolate, but I think before you eat them, you have to take some horseradish, like around the sausage, the meat there, because life is part bitter and sweet. And so before you have your sweets, take a little horseradish, and the sweets will even taste better. A sign of life, sometimes not so good, but with Jesus always sweeter over and over again. So may the blessing of the Lord come upon all these foods in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now let us pray the words Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen.
the Lord bless us and keep us. May he let his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. And may he look, us, look upon us kindly and give us his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now go forth in celebration of the resurrection of Jesus, he who is our risen Savior, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.